I spent all of last night like compiling all of Alyssa Clips uh, videos in regards to the Rakeda thing. Uh, 17 clips I had to post. Post uh, plus uh, plus one epic one with the uh, Rakeda retardation theme song, uh, with uh, with a uh, with an intro by me and like all the the clips compiled into one accessible thing like again i did it that way so like all of this stuff would be documented uh, it's time to talk about what's happened because this is a major shift in like the nick narrative right a major shift in the lore right you know Rikeda has gone completely mask off in what he's trying to do right so for those of you who don't know uh, who don't know uh Alyssa clips you know our girl um i would argue the best detractor in the community like i um i was here before she was okay like let's get this cleared up i was making anti rakeda content before she was but the, i was doing it when it wasn't popular to do so right so when i would make a video like talking about rakeda i would sit here talking about it and i would just be like oh nick said this uh it implies this it means he believes this he's lying to you and his uh baldo washers uh, at the time, like his fans, they would come out and they would disregard everything I said, right? They would try to say that I was making it up, that uh, he didn't actually say that, I was taking him out of context, right? At the time, it was very, very, very difficult to criticize Nick Riccata, right? And I realized this almost immediately. And um, Alyssa Clips right the thing she did differently and the reason why she became su successful is that she was able to circumvent the nick defense force right she was able to take his locals comp uh, his videos completely unedited right post clips of them on her channel and more and more people were beginning to realize like who nick actually was and not like the weird like uh, facade he puts on for the camera. No, he was a disgusting, degenerate loser, right? He was scum, but he put on this like really fake facade of being like this incredibly base guy, right? This guy with this great job, this great wife, this amazing family, right? You know, streaming about the law, right? Trying to do the right thing. He came off as such a genuine human being. And someone who was like, you know, who emphasized everything positive about uh, America, American culture, right? Like he really put on this like facade for years and eventually all of it collapsed among itself, right? People began to, uh, realizing about the degeneracy, the sex obsession, right? The, uh, you know, the people he was around, it was all just... He went to great effort to like hide this initially in order to like do the religious religious conservative grift. But it was Alyssa's coverage of him that really made his actions known to the general public. There were niche people talking about him, right? You know, I know Kino Casino did that. Uh, I, I think Kino Casino were doing that early on. PPP was on like uh, addressing some concerns he had like before i was right so like again there were other people like bringing this stuff up but i think it was like Alyssa's coverage of him uh the clips that she would post that really got people like really connecting the dots and really understanding who nick actually was and for a long time nick did not do anything about it right for a long time nick would legit like say that he supported Alyssa Cliffs, he liked what she was doing, that there was nothing wrong with what she was doing, that he would always support her and allow her to uh, to share clips on his channel, right? His, uh, his belief, I think, was that like his audience was so large and so passionate that they would damage control, that they would damage control anything that any controversy that comes up, right? And to a certain extent, that was true. But he burned through so much of his goodwill so quickly that Alyssa Clip simply like documenting this and like uh, posting this on her channel really exposed all of these situations, right? You have things like uh, that are memes now, you know, things like the Baldo, right? I think that's where she became 
notorious. Uh, you had like uh, the worst day. You know, you have like uh, you know, plenty of stuff she didn't document. You know, I always talk about like the cryogenic sex chambers as just my go-to example of just why Drexel is just a complete uh, and utter degenerate. You know, that Nick entertaining the thought of like throwing women in in like uh, sex dungeons. In order to it just it just it was just like it just boggles the mind of just how insanely depraved it was. And yet these people like took it completely seriously. Like uh you have these situations, right? Uh that just kept building and building and building up over time to the point where Nick Nick's reputation was completely ruined. Rakeda's reputation was ruined. Oh man, that's amazing. But sub alliteration there but Rakeda cannot handle any real criticism of his channel i actually do um have evidence of this like i have an old 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 Rakeda retardation video i i don't know which one it is where like he actually comes on and actually tries defending himself he actually tries like uh you know, talk, uh, addressing some of the concerns he had. Like, again, he can't handle people calling him out on his nonsense, basically. Like, um, for me, to me, like, the fact that he, he feels that Alyssa covering him the way she did is the result, is the reason why his reputation is tanked so hard. hard. Right. He's blaming Alyssa for how the general public views him now. When in reality, you know, what Alyssa did, what Kino Casino do, what I do, what Mr. Sen does, what like that Will Hara guy does, uh, t the TV guy, I don't know who he is. Like, I just discovered his channel today. But like, uh, what these people are doing, uh, all of us have in common is that we are talking about your actions. The issue is your behavior. It has nothing to do with uh, it has nothing to do with like some vast conspiracy. It's not the government. It's not like uh, you know some conspiracy, like some woke SJW conspiracy. It's not the police. It's not Kiwi Farms. It's not uh, detractor YouTube channels, right? Like it's you, right? Uh, the real fundamental problem with Rakeda Law is nick Rakeda himself and the fact that he can't bring himself to admit that is i think the biggest problem here right like the reason his marriage has declined because of him right uh his home is in disorder because of him uh his his career is in shambles because of his actions right um you know his kids probably hate him because of his actions he's lost everything because of his actions until he can accept that, we will not be able to move forward, right? So uh, right now, uh, Nick has tried, 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 tried to go after Alyssa Clips, right? Uh, Nick is trying to silence Alyssa Clips out of this mistaken belief that this is somehow going to stop her. This is going to be some big thing that this is uh, this is going to like improve his reputation or damage control. No, it isn't going to do anything, right? Other people are going to cover what you do. In a lot of ways, we don't need Alyssa, right? We don't need like any detractor channels because more of them are always going to prop up because of your behavior. 